Welcome back to Tech Solution Z. On this channel, I share simple and practical guides to help you make the most out of your Linux and Windows systems. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install WageRoyal on Zorin OS 18, step by step. But first, what exactly is WageRoyal? WageRoyal is a powerful open source tool that allows you to run full Android system images on Linux, giving you the ability to use Android apps right from your desktop. It's fast, smooth, and integrates beautifully with Wayland, which makes it a great experience on Zorin OS. So let's begin. On your screens, you can see we're on Zorin OS 18 with the GNOME desktop environment. The desktop compositor here is Wayland, which is important because Waydroid works perfectly on Zorin when Wayland is enabled without needing Weston. Now, on your screens, you can see the Waydroid source forge directory. From here, we'll download the necessary system and vendor images for Android 13 that will be used by Waydroid on Zorin OS 18. Follow the on-screen instructions and download both files as shown. You can choose between the vanilla build or the build with gapps. For this tutorial, we'll be downloading the gapps build, so we'll have a fully functional Google Play Store once installation is complete. The download process may take a few minutes depending on your connection, so have a little patience. Once both files are downloaded, open the downloaded file's location and unzip the archives using the command shown on your screen. Next, we'll update the Linux package index. This is a must before any installation. Then install the necessary components as per the official WageDroid instructions. If you already have these components installed, you can skip this step. Once done, add the WageDroid repository, Update your package index again and install WageDroid using the command shown on your screen.
after installation, list the two files you downloaded earlier, the system and vendor images. Create the directory path as shown and move both downloaded files into that directory. This is a simple but important step. Once done, you can verify using the list command to ensure everything is placed correctly. Now it's time to initialize Wadroid. Run the initialization command exactly as shown on your screen. Once it's complete, you can exit the terminal and start Wadroid directly from your applications menu. And here it is, Wadroid successfully installed and running on Zorin OS 18, which is based on Ubuntu Noble. You can now enjoy using Android apps natively on your Linux desktop without any emulators. That's all for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux and Windows installation tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.